let's get closer and have a look at some of this content here. So it's not so much Robin Hood merchandise and memorabilia, although there is a couple of things in here, but it is more of Tales of the Robin Hood promotional material and some of the stuff they had. Most of this is unopened in any capacity. And there's some really good promotional stuff here. So let's have a, a look through. For the Towns of Robin Hood, for many people, it was, well, in fact, I was going to say that it shares a similarity to the Jorvik Viking Center. In fact, the Jorvik Viking Center is actually based on the Towns of Robin Hood. Uh, so this is uh, one of the main cards, like an advertisement sheet here. And uh, the, uh, the definitive exhibition of the outlaw hero and his adventures open seven days a week. And there's a telephone number. And oh, there's a message there about being farewell, ye traveller. Some high quality card there. Only just a slight bend in the uh, card. So what happened? What is all this stuff? So the story goes is that I must have gone here when I was about nine. And uh, I think again when I was about 12. So my mum brought me all the way up here from Peterborough where I was uh, born and brought up. And we obviously took a couple of days there and came this way. This is a... Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a booklet, a pamphlet. Again, this is a, a literal uh, mint condition. So, this is about the history. He in the city of England's best loved outlaw waged war on his arch enemy, the Sheriff of Nottingham. We invite you to step back into a long gone world of storytelling and adventure. So, come with us to the days when good was good and evil was most foul. And there's uh, some pictures here of uh, some of the stuff around the castle and the legends. Of uh, our Robin Hood. So as I said, my mum brought me here when I was nine initially, and went on a bit of a tour, and then again when I was twelve. And uh, so what's happened is all this stuff has been kept compressed, neat, tidy, in a suitcase. The suitcase was uh, kept in a storage box. So all this stuff is literally as new. The Towers of Robin Hood, the world's greatest medieval adventure. And this is a, uh, what is this? What does it say? Ride through the magical forest and experience the sights and sounds and the smells of medieval Nottingham. And there's a, a ride through the magical forest, play the silver arrow game. Now that silver arrow game, actually I saw, um, I think I still have the arrow they used to give you. I'm sure I saw that. So basically it's a bit of a game they would play. They would give you a, a card like this. I still have it. So he lived in history as a, a yeoman in knots, fighting with a bow. Was Robin Hood then fact or fiction? Oh yeah, this has been kept flat, crisp, nice since the day it was uh, it was used. So I'm now 28 years later. Now the towns of Robin Hood closed about uh, a decade ago. What you'll find there now is a is a Tesco, oddly enough. Here's another bit of Nottingham City Council, the legend, legendary trail of Robin Hood. A half or full day self-guided car tour of Robin Hood country. Number one. Oh, it folds out. Okay. So this is a, uh, a Nottingham County Council um, tour. Oh, this is actually pretty cool, actually. So basically you can go and explore all of Robin Hood country. So I guess that goes up to Edwinstow, Newark. I thought something about, oh, the Robin Hood Trail. So how to use this guide. And there's some uh, chatter about the Mighty Oak there. Uh, map references. Blidoth, Papplewick, Fountaindale, Edwin Stowe, the Sherwood Forest Visitor Centre, and Thorsbury Hall and Park. And there's uh, maps of how to get there and what to do when you get there. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, what do we have here? So it's actually... A, an unused carrier bag. Again, the tales of Robin Hood. Complete with phone number. There's actually another bag attached to it. What's this? Does this have anything on it? Oh, yeah, the Nottingham Civic Centre. So it's actually pretty cool going through this. This is like a kind of going down memory lane, going down the old nostalgia trip. And actually, one of the cool things I found was this. This is uh, the Tales of Robin Hood. This says on here, there's actually a sticker in the corner. This is lace. It says, uh, Real Nottingham Lace Edged Handkerchief by Weatherall. 38A High Pavement Nottingham. 65% polyester. So this is an unopened piece of uh, lace. 
from last year. This is Nottingham Lace, embroidered with the tails of Robin Hood. Put that to one side. And talking of fabric, there's this uh, rather cool tea towel that is as fresh as the day it was bought because it actually still has all the folds that has never been used. Although it does appear over time the crease has actually made it slightly darker. So what does it say? The soldiers of the evil sheriff of Nottingham are searching for you and you must flee. Mount our flight to adventure and escape from medieval Nottingham and seek Robin Hood in Sherwood Forest and he alone can protect you. Our map guides you through the trail and discover the adventures that will befall you along your way. And uh, so it has lots of the uh, coats of arms of the area I see and there's Greenwood, Our Lady, The Royal Hunt, Guy of Gisborne, Hermit, some interesting characters on here, uh, something that looks especially like a werewolf, some bunnies, yeah so that, we fold that back down those original creases, there's a yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, what's this here? Robin Hood Lives. Again, this is a Tales of Robin Hood uh, promo pack, really. Best to, uh, best, or best of Tourism Awards, 1989. And he's waiting for you. Now, I wonder who the picture actually is. So if anyone can give me a heads up who the picture is, that'd be quite interesting. Escape the Sheriff's Deadly Arrows. Face Ferocious Wolves. Be warned by the hanged outlaws, hide out in the hermit's eerie cave, and discover the slain guy of Gisborne in time. All right, so Robin Hood lives. So, what we have here, there's uh, another leaflet here. So, the Nottingham story this is produced, I'm assuming, by the council. See the spectacular widescreen show, Legend and History and Legend. Cinematic experience, exciting atmosphere, stereo sound. Not quite sure what it's actually advertising, uh, what the show is and where it is. Uh, oh, at the Nottingham Tourist and Information Centre. Admi oh, ad admission is just one pound. I just got to see a show for just one pound. That's near on unheard of in these days. So there's a couple more things of Towers the Robin Hood related. There is this. I haven't actually opened this, but I think I've got a good idea what it is. So this is in a bag, bag from the Nottingham Civic Society, and inside is a couple of uh, pin badges. So there's the Tales of Robin Hood pin badge, there's this one, and there's also the Robin Hood pin badge. Now, I can remember wearing one of these when I was a kid, so this clearly wasn't that one. But uh, these are kept as they once were. That plastic hasn't yellowed at all either, it's still white. Put that back in the bag it came in. Fold it all the way. And there's one more thing that came in a bag here. Again, another Nottingham Civic Society bag. And uh, there's a statue of the uh, Robin Hood statue. Postcard, rather, of the Robin Hood statue. There's another picture of it there. And, oh, there's actually that, that Tales of Robin Hood postcard there is identical to what is on the uh, what is on the tea towel. So there's this here too. This is it looks like a oh designed and published by the City of Nottingham Department of Property uh, 1988. And again this is literally as new as if it was printed today. This this colouring has kept really well. So live and listen gentlemen that be the freeborn bold I shall ye tell of good yeoman, his name was Robin Hood. So in here, uh, Legend of Robin Hood, his band of outlaws, picture of Michael Prade there, uh, the Sheriff of Nottingham, the King, and I guess actually this actually charts the history really, um, somewhat from the, the Bard's Tales through the cinematic to that time, the TV show and the Disney movie. Does this open wider? So it does, so it does. Robin Hood, appearance, clothing, arrows, knife, Robin Hood the man. This is a, 
here. This is extremely, like it's well printed. This is high quality paper. This is if this might have been printed yesterday, but it wasn't. It's been here in this suitcase in a box, hidden in storage for 28 years. So my last thing here that I found in here that is Robin Hood related is uh, this. I can remember reading this uh, when I was a kid. My mum had a crush on uh, Mr. Errol Flynn there as uh, as uh, Robin. And this is Robin of the Movies, written by David Turner, graphics and illustrations by Malcolm Barker. And uh, inside here is, of course, Robin in his uh, movie outgoings. Robin Hood, was he, was he a legend? I guess it was his cinematic voyages and retellings of his story going up to that time. So this is before uh, Prince of Thieves. This, this would have been, this is up until like 1990. So yeah, this is printed, yeah, 1989 by Yeoman Publishing, oddly enough, uh, in Kings Wingford, England. So yeah, that's quite interesting actually. That really is. It's been a little bit of a trip down memory lane to see all this kind of stuff, but also, ultimately, I mean, while I like Robin Hood, while I live in Nottingham, I'm not sure I want to keep all this. But I'm not sure who I would give it to, or who I could donate it to, or who I could sell it to in any kind of capacity. Could it be kept in a museum? Because, I mean, a, a lot of this stuff, like particularly the, the Towers of Robin Hood lace, this uh, unique tea towel, these are as, as new as the day they were made. So it'd be good to give these to someone, or a, an establishment perhaps, or a collector, who could benefit from this. So, with that in mind, I shall draw this meeting to a close, and I shall bid you adieu.